fellow Earthlings. <laughs> it's me, PLG. <laughs> ah, I'm lefty. I got soap on the back of my hand. Makeup. I'm lefty. <laughs> I'm righty. Today, we're doing another thrift store gadget test uh, and review. Set of three. Canape, I guess that's pronounced, bread molds. Paid five bucks, four dollars ninety nine cents. Says so right there. I thought it was going to be some kind of new technique of new bread. It's just fun shapes of bread. It says it can do any any kind of bread, Ri rising dough bread or just quick breads. I'm doing a quick bread today. I just got done mixing me up a batch of my banana bread right there. You can look that recipe up on my channel. It's back there away. It's banana bread. Let's see what this thing looks like here. Let's see what new. It's brand new too. Look, it's on the packages. Look at this. Okay, well that's all it is. It's just some molds. All right. <laughs> Easy enough. And it's got lids on each end. There's a little heart shape right here. See, a little heart shape. Put that lid on here. They're all round lids. That's kind of cool. Can't really get them mixed up. So there's a heart shape. And here is, what's this, a star? Yeah. Get out of the bag. There's a star shape. A little star shape. Mm hmm. Alright. And this must be the flower. The flower shape. Like that. That's all there is to them. <laughs> Gotta give them a quick scrub out. Of course. And it's got instructions on the side here. Blah, 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 blah. There's some recipe there. Can ape bread. Can ape. <laughs> ape, ape. That's the oven coming up 350 degrees. Uh, I'm trying here. Plastic bowl, seven minutes, adding something, something. Nope, 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 nope. About, okay, double this. Nope, nope, nope. It's empty. These are nine inch rolls, bases, and bubble them diameter. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. This is for if you're making regular. This is for if you're making regular bread. Who cares about that? Frozen bread dough, bread to the machine dough. I don't know. We're just going to figure it out. I'm going to wash these up and I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay, folks, and we're back. I got these all set up here. What I'm going to do, I guess, since it doesn't say, <laughs> I'm going to search. I'm going to, oh boy, here. I'm going to try spraying some of this in here. I'm going to use a cooking sheet, I guess. Oh, I'm going to spray some of this spray stuff where you spray oil in here. Spray them down real good, I guess. Like that. Mm-hmm. Get a little bit more in there. Because I don't know what I'm doing. It doesn't say to grease them. <laughs> so I'm going to spray them. There we go. Okay, and I'm just going to do a little bit of the flower stuff. And I guess I'll try a little bit of the star stuff. Not going to fill them. It's not going to fill them all the way, obviously. If he was using a rising dough, from what it says, I guess you put your your dough in about halfway. You lay them down like this. <coughs> the dough should stretch out, and it should it should stretch out and uh, fill the whole thing, the whole tube. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to put some of this in here. And pour them in here and see what happens. See if I can get me some different shapes. A banana or bread. Put about that much in you. Ooh, that's nasty. It's stuck and spilling. <laughs> I'll put some in you. That's going to be about it. So I'll test these two. See what we come up with. Now it's banana bread. I'm going to put the lids on here. Like this, I can already see it kind of 
spills out the bottom down here on the bottoms. Not too worried about it, I guess. As long as this stuff stays in here to cook. All right. Then it says into the oven for an hour. 350 degrees for banana bread. So, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to try to get these in that there oven. I'm going to do this with them standing up, obviously. <laughs> so I've got second to the bottom shelf here. I'm going to ease this in here. Ease it in here. Like that. There we go. <laughs> I guess we'll see you back here one hour. See what this looks like. Yes, yes. Pause. Making some low carb pancakes while we're waiting for our thrift store experiment to finish. <laughs> we got about 25 minutes to go on that. And then we got to let it cool. So I'm making some pancakes. Then I'm going to take and um, debone that freaking ham and then bust out the food processor. And I'm going to make ham salad for road sandwiches. I think I'm done cooking for today. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I don't know. Then, then, I don't know. Start packing things up for the motorhome, I guess. There's nothing really has to be done, done, done. There's something to do while we're farting around in there. Like the hanging the blind and stuff. I can do that while we're on the road. <laughs> something to do. <laughs> so, just some packing up and stuff, I guess. I'm going to be, uh, Final packing in the morning and heading out towards Illinois. Boy, Spoon River Drive and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah me and Big D are going to make a run to Missouri, too. That'll be a, a, a quick little mini series that we do. So, anyways, see you in about a half hour or so, 45 minutes. As you can see, that looks pretty strange. Um, it has baked up and out from underneath. Uh, <laughs> We're going to let them cool off now, and uh, we're going to see if there's even anything in these. Yeah. I'm not sure, but we're going to find out. <laughs> oh, cool. We're all orange again. Hello, hello, everybody. Hang on a second. <laughs> did that make it on orange? Yes, it did. Okay, these are cool enough for me to touch at the top. Not down here. Hot, hot. But what I'm going to do is trim this off, this part that leaked out. So far for soft breads... I would prefer that the caps, these caps, were the same shape as the molds. That's just what I would prefer. But let's see what we get here. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get them to, uh, see if I can get them to, and the dingoes drive me nuts. He's right behind me wanting out again because I started doing something, see? No, there we go. See if I can get this to let go here. Trim these up. I just want them to let go. <laughs> Cut my little shape out. I can't tell where the lid is. <laughs> eh, eh. Yeah, I would say... I would say probably don't bother with... Unless you can find some way to plug these better. Don't bother with trying to make like banana breads or anything, I guess. <laughs> but we'll see. There's some in here. I, I looked inside. There is some in the tubes. It's just a matter of getting to them. <laughs> We're trying to get them out, see? Eh. Eh. We'll set these off to the back here. Get them out the way. I almost got this one halfway or over halfway freed. Um, so far, I think next, I, I think I'm just going to stick with regular sandwich bread if I ever do this. I don't know. Or I'll try to figure out how to plug these. Get some silicone or something. The baking safe silicone. Okay, so we've got this out here. Pop the cap off of this bad boy. See, there's a little burnt. I want to see if I can... Huh, huh. Oh, it released. Look, folks. It popped out of there. <laughs> see, the mold is empty. It's just messy. It's really messy. Is it good? Yeah, I'm skipping it. It's good. The LG made it. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can trim this bad boy up a little bit. You can see, right? I'm trying to zap this little burnt part right off of here. And that's garbage. That burnt. It's a burnt star. Hmm. 
I'm going to zap this. We'll just do one for you here so you can see it. We'll do another one. That one broke. A little thicker cut, I guess. There we go. A couple of stars. Okay. Kind of cool, actually. Kind of cool. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one, other one out of here. See if I can get it to release. <laughs> eh. This one's not stuck near as bad, I don't think. Eh. So there's the stars. Let's see if we can get a flower thing out of here. Ah, it let go. It did let go. Pull all this off here. Oh, yeah, it released. <laughs> all right, let's see what the flowers look like. You can see, right? Trim this little end here off. I got a real long, sharp knife, so I don't have to saw through it so much. It's more of a couple of long draws in your through kind of thing. We'll get a couple of flowers here. And I should probably let it cool all the way, too. So here we have it. Got a couple of stars. That one's a little boo-booed. But it's all right. A couple of stars, and we've got a couple of flowers, folks. And there you have it. My review. Um, until you can figure out a way to seal these edges up with these round lids, it comes up through these gaps. I wouldn't really suggest doing, like, a banana bread or something. Now, if I put it all in one mold, it'd be plenty of bread. I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, I would stick with the with the yeast rising bread. Other than that, though, uh, as far as interesting, it is pretty cool. It works. I give it a three out of five. For five bucks, if you find a pair or set of them, the three of them, yeah, go ahead and go ahead and pick them up and mess with them. I give it I give it a three out of five. <laughs> Not bad for five bucks. And you can make neat little horse divorce sandwiches or something. For parties and whatnot, kind of cool, especially at Christmas time. In Easter, you could use flowers. In Valentine's Day, you could use the hearts. The Christmas and stuff. The Fourth of July, you could use the stars. Cool. So that's it for BLG. <laughs> I'm Lefty. <laughs> I'm Righty. <laughs> and I'm BLG. <laughs> we'll catch you in the next exciting episode. Hands on with BLG. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good enough for now. Bye, po folks. I, I got ki kitchen cleanup duty to do. <clears throat> Hands on with BLG. You never know what you will see. Oh, yes, sirree. Hands on. With BLG, <laughs> stick around.